Qasim Khan was a small soldier in Dara's army, but soon he progressed and got a good mansab by Dara. Dara considered him as his trusted man and sent him to assist Maharaja Jaswant Singh in blocking the way for the combined forces of Aurangzeb and Murad. In a few days, Qasim Khan took the royal army and joined the forces of Maharaja Jaswant Singh. The Maharaja was given a clear order that he should stay on the northern bank of Shipra and will not cross the Shipra river at any cost and Qasim Khan was ordered to fight the battle along with Maharaja Jaswant Singh and was told to follow his orders and not to execute any other plans on his own. Dara had done so much for Qasim Khan that even if Qasim would have given his life for Dara, that would also be very nominal, but Qasim Khan was a very ungrateful person. His fortunes have exalted due to his luck and continued to progress. He did not like Dara's order that he should fight according to Jaswant Singh. Qasim Khan wanted to take the whole credit of the victory and Maharaja Jaswant Singh wanted that Qasim Khan should fight under his orders and Qasim Khan could not refuse Maharaja Jaswant Singh's orders as directed by the royal order. Therefore, he planned to quarrel with the Maharaja so that the failure could be blamed on Maharaja's head. Qasim Khan hid the ammunition of the imperial army behind his camp on the sandy coast of Shipra and suggested the Maharaja that Aurangzeb and Murad Baksh forces have not crossed Shipra river yet. So, we should cross the river and tie our front there. Qasim Khan's plan was to lure the Maharaja across the river and at the last moment he wanted to reconcile with Aurangzeb so that it will be easier for him to imprison the Maharaja. Maharaja Jaswant Singh was a person of discipline. He refused to go against the royal orders and rejected Qasim Khan's suggestion. On this, the evil Qasim Khan devised a plan in his mind to get rid of both Dara Shikov and Maharaja Jaswant Singh at once. Finally, Aurangzeb and Murad Baksh forces reached the opposite coast of Shipra. Seeing the armies of Maharaja Jaswant Singh and Qasim Khan, Aurangzeb trembled with fear. Aurangzeb sent an invitation to Maharaja Jaswant Singh to come to his side. The Maharaja did not want to cheat the Emperor at any cost. Emperor Shah Jahan and Wali Ahad Dara Shiko had befriended and treated the Maharaja well throughout his life. While the sly behavior and intentions can be easily seen in Aurangzeb's eyes and so he refused to go to Aurangzeb's side. On the third night, Qasim Khan took advantage of the darkness and quietly crossed the Shipra river and met Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb hoped that Maharaja Jaswant Singh would accept his proposal and that Qasim Khan, who grew up on Dara's merits, would never come in his favour. But the situation was opposite and Aurangzeb was very happy about that. The Maharaja was steadfast and the traitor Qasim Khan now belonged to Aurangzeb's camp. Qasim Khan told Aurangzeb that the Maharaja is alone with his forces on the other coast of Shipra and the royal army's MO is buried in sand. Therefore, if the cannons are fired from this side, the ammunition buried in the sand will cause double destruction. Aurangzeb summoned Murad to his camp and ordered the Mughal army to attack Maharaja Jaswant Singh at the same time. 
लुक एट द सीक्वल महाराजा जसवंत सिंह सोल रिटर्न टू जोधपुर